Hi, welcome to my channel. And before I start my vlog today, I want to give a very special thank you to Team Ulanzi for sending me this GoPro Hero 6, 7 and 5 vlogging cage. And for most of the vloggers like me, I mostly use my GoPro for vlogging and daily use. For most of us, GoPro vlogging setup was self-engineered. My first GoPro Hero vlogging setup was a huge Joby Gorilla pod and then a metal cage for the GoPro and a Rode video mic and the GoPro mic adapter dangling from top and I put rubber band on it and all that. And my second GoPro vlogging setup was again self-engineered with some gums and connected on the top of the GoPro case and then connected Ulanzi and made it a little compact. And so the third one was my GoPro Hero 7 Black which was a new one. Again the Ulanzi tripod, GoPro case and then I didn't gum or didn't do anything. I just put the GoPro mic adapter on top and put a rubber band on it and then used a ceremonic mic. Today I'm very happy and very thrilled to say that Ulanzi and their team has done a very good job on making this GoPro vlogging case. Thank you Ulanzi for sending me this GoPro vlogging gear. It's called Ulanzi V2. It is available on Amazon.in. I'll put the links in the description down below and this is costing you only 1099 rupees. That is 1099 rupees only. I did not buy this case. Ulanzi sent it to me and after unboxing I'll put assembly of two types of GoPro vlogging setup. It is just a bubble wrap cover and this GoPro vlogging cage. This is compatible with GoPro Hero 5 Black, GoPro Hero 6 Black and GoPro Hero 7 Black cameras. And this is made up of a very good material and the best advantage is it has two levels of cold shoe mount. This is the level 2. This is a raised cold shoe mount because when you put a Rode video mic, the fur or the dead cat so that the dead cat won't come in the frame. That is why this is the raised one. You can remove this and you can use this. If you are not using a Rode video mic with the, the dead cat, you can just use the level 1. If not, you can raise it and use it with the Rode video mic. Door is side opening doors. We have to press this button and open the door. The side opening door is an advantage because you can slip in the GoPro here. You can remove the GoPro easily and remove or replace the batteries or memory card. This is the compartment where the mic adapter goes in. Let's start the assembly. I'm a big Ulanzi fan. I buy all the Ulanzi accessories and the best part of the Ulanzi mini tripod. This is very useful because I like GoPro vlogging setup to be very compact. Let's install it with two part setup. One, I'll show you the installation with the Rode video mic. And second, I'll show you uh, the installation with the very small ceremonic mic, which I regularly use because the Rode video mic gathers a lot of attention when I'm traveling. So I want my GoPro to be compact when I'm traveling and uh, very easy to shoot with a smaller setup. So this is a ceremonic mic. I'll put the links in the description to buy this. This is available on Amazon.in as well. I have already removed the GoPro side door. And I am now currently using the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I do have a GoPro Hero 5 as well. So pretty much pretty straight installation. Just push this part of the case and just pull the side, do side door. Just put the GoPro inside. Just close the door. Perfect. And GoPro sits pretty perfect and sturdy and it doesn't shake, it doesn't wiggle, it doesn't make any noise so that you uh, may have that interference in the mic. So it is fitted, there is like enough distance here so that you can operate the menus of the GoPro. Now we'll install the mic inside this space where the mic adapter goes in. You have to kind of insert it from the side. That is this side where the power button is. Pull the adapter from this end and then gently push the GoPro mic adapter inside. Oh, I must say pretty snug, pretty, pretty snug, very snug. Actually, it's perfect. It fits perfectly and I'm pretty impressed. But remember one thing though, most of you kind of just plug the mic adapter like this, which is a little wiggly and dangly. Remember to give it a nice turn and insert it like this inside the cage so that it fits perfectly and doesn't wiggle or anything like that. Let's uh, put the Ulanzi tripod. By the way, this is the Ulanzi mini tripod which is also available on Amazon.in. I put the links in the description. And by the way, Ulanzi products are very economical but very well built and very sturdy and very, very premium quality feel. I'll show you the first setup with Rode video mic and later I'll show you it with Saramonic. So I usually connect the Rode video mic to the level 2 that is the raised cold shoe that is here and after I connect it what I usually do is one of the wires I put it in one of the grooves in the wheel here which is also a facility uh, by road itself these grooves are given so that you could 
put these wires so that it won't shake and dangle. So I, have, I usually do this, which is very good. And then let's connect this to the mic adapter. So this is how I connect it and this is how it looks. And this raised uh, cold shoe does not uh, allow the wind muff to come in the frame. I will switch on the camera right now. Camera is turned on and as you can see in this little video of me probably, uh, the, uh, the dead cat is not in the frame. Dead cat has not come in the video frame. But however, I will record a quick video right now and show you how it looks. So this is the vlogging setup with the Ulanzi case and uh, with the Rode video mic connected and you can see me right now and the Rode video mic is not coming into the frame it is way on top because of the raised cold shoe of the Ulanzi case and <clears throat> mic check one two three Rode video mic on GoPro Hero 7 Black with mic adapter and Ulanzi GoPro V2 vlogging cage Sujan, this is what is the setup and Sujan say hi. Hi. So Sujan is recording like this. He's we've kept stacked up a couple of books with Joby Gurulapur and Canon 80D to record this unboxing video. Sujan, how do you feel? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> do you like the cage? Yeah, of course. This is the setup number two. Nothing has changed. I have removed the Rode video mic from top and I'm also removing this uh, extended cold shoe uh, which I might not need for now. And then I am connecting this ceremonic mic. It's pretty simple. Let me connect it to the mic adapter right here. This is very compact and makes the GoPro vlogging setup even smaller. Look how compact the setup is. The mic adapter is perfectly fixed here under the GoPro and uh, the setup is very very compact. So let me show you how compact is the setup. This this is how this is how big the setup is and very portable. So what I do is when I'm vlogging from front I keep the ceremonic in the front of me and when I'm showing you something and I still want to speak from behind the lens I turn the ceremonic towards myself like so and I can my voice is clearly captured. So let me turn on the GoPro and show you the recording connecting the ceremonic mic. Let me start recording now. Yeah. Hi Sujan. Hi. This is ceremonic mic now. What do you think of this? This is more compact or the earlier one was compact? This one is compact. Yeah. yeah? So this is vlogging with the Ulanzi V2 vlogging cage and a ceremonic mic, very compact setup. And I don't know how ceremonic sounds yet, but I, I've vlogged a couple of times with the ceremonic mic, so it sounds pretty amazing. Mic test one, two, three, four, five.